Hey everybody, Logan here. Today, well, have you been Burlington lately? Again, this is another year in a row that they keep pushing out these new controllers from companies I never heard of. I think last year they were branded Tech Rebellion. This year they're branded Game Wave. It's a batch of very similar controllers every year with minor tweaks and what seems to be a new branding. Except for this one. This one, you can even see by my awkward thumbnail, it was hard to get a good picture with glaring because the box is all, well, the full front of it's a window. That's this. I'm pretty sure you can. There you go. Let, let's get it. Okay, well, all my lights and everything. This is not the best for taking videos and stuff because there's even a reflective surface in the background. But this is a wire, uh, sorry, wireless controller for the Nintendo Switch with multiple face uh, faceplates. You can change them in and out. They had another one, which was, I think, black and gold. But I decided to get the red and blue because it's more of a classic Switch uh, color theme, if you will. Now, the only thing is, it's just a standard wireless controller with multiple faceplates. Nothing fancy. I've covered a couple of other ones from Burlington before. They're all sitting around the $20 range. Depending on which one you go to, I've been told some people got them as low as $15, other ones as high as $25. It's all over the place, but you're looking around that $20 mark. I've seen them mainly between $19 and $22.99. So just keep an eye out. Whatever the one closest to you, don't, don't pay too much. These are around $20 controllers at best. So we're going to take a, a better look. Something's loose in there. That, that, doesn't, that doesn't bode well. So we're going to take a closer look. What's inside here? We're going to hook it up to my Switch and see if it's any good. I don't have high hopes for this one. There we go. Yeah, I know it's weird. Because, yeah, if I zoom out too far, it's kind of weird on the, on the camera. It just looks a little weird with this backing but hey as you guys can see it's game wave like the other ones it says for switch light switch switch oled and it's simply called wireless controller set turbo plus vibration functions so wireless controller set nothing nothing fancy at all i mean this is the most bland controller you can find but hey it has interchangeable face plates right Right, vibration function, turbo function, six axis, wireless connection, interchangeable face, face plates. So it's just like every other one of their controllers, just with um, interchangeable face plates. Now we're going to see what works and what doesn't. Let's open this up. As you can see, I got it for $22.99. Comparable value, $34.99. They can just make it whatever they want. Oh, here's some specs. So it has Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, less than 10 meters about these usually range around 30 feet or less charging time two to three hours vibration current interesting milliamps 70 to 120 milliamps charging current uh, what is that greater than no sorry less than 320 milliamps standby 30 days Excuse me. take out the knife now if you guys are wondering I have one more video left for controllers in the pipeline between now and Christmas, depending on when you're watching this. Yeah, see, I told you there's something loose in there. I don't know what it is. I think it sounds like some kind of paper or whatnot. So maybe I'll have some more after the holidays, but I haven't found anything. Okay, I'm just tearing this whole thing up. The last two controllers weren't too shabby. This one, one. Yep, that was the instruction manual, which is flimsy. So it's just going to tell you how to connect it, which if you've ever used a... Uh, what? Did just happen here? I don't think that was supposed to happen. Um, no, this one doesn't. 
Okay, so mine's already broken. Like, I guess you can still use it like that. But see, this one doesn't. That one doesn't. Okay. You already lost some points there. One, it kind of feels cheap. Like, it feels really cheap. <sighs> so, with no other programmable buttons, I'm guessing you just hold this and then press the button. Does it come with a charge? Oh, okay, so those light up. And that lights up. And there's a little light somewhere there. Um, they're actual controllers. I mean controllers. Triggers. But it doesn't matter because the Switch doesn't have analog triggers. Let's see. Do you just stick your... Nope. And plus, I don't... How do you... How do I... That's probably how you do it. Because I see them right there, but... I don't have any fingernails. So, knife! Uh. There you go. Yeah, there are two little indents. One here. One here, where you should just be able to... pop it out, but that wasn't the case. So if you look under here, you can see where the lights are, everything here. You can see where some of the lights come up. There's a few on the top, I guess. I don't know, this, this seems like a pretty pish controller. Oh, oh, yay, it's, it's red and black. Like Red Bandana Gaming, yay. Okay, this is, ow. Gow. Okay, good luck with that. Aha. Ouch. As you can see, I, I don't have fingernails. That's what it's gonna look like. I'm not even gonna put that on because I'm not even gonna fight that. Or should I just leave the, the blue one on? I don't know. Yeah. At least the clear one you can kind of see underneath it, which makes it cool, but yeah, you got you got a red and blue. There's that doesn't sound right. Those sticks are crap, by the way. This is probably the worst product. I've ever covered from there. The last year's models had a little bit of input lag, but most people said they don't notice it, or they've really just bought them for kids who really aren't going to be able to know the difference. All right, so I guess the clear is a the thing. There you go, you got lights, ooh. All right, so far this controller's trash. Let's grab switch and connect it and just see how it see how it plays so here we go we have this up here I don't see a sync button so um um is that the sync button no I, where's the sync button all else fails. Instruction manual. Um, no, oh, that's the screenshot. Okay, I guess with the circle, that's a screenshot? Okay, wireless pairing. From the home menu, select that. Airplane mode, Bluetooth, and select on. Step three from home menu. What? Let's see if I just press and hold the home button on the wireless controller for three to five seconds to enter the pairing mode. The LED indicator will flash quickly. Okay, so you hold this. Okay, needless to say, that's not working in this mode. Let's go here. This is weird. The LED indicator will 
oh, okay. Oh, all right. It's, it just takes quite a long time to do it. So when you're doing this, when you're just trying to pair it, just make sure you're here. Hold this until it flashes and just let it do its thing. Ignore the rest of the instructions because you don't need to do that. You don't need to go, it, it should be on, your Bluetooth should be on by default. So going back, well, it rumbles fine. It does have gyro. You guys see that? Gyro seems to be fine. Movement. Very, very nil on input delay. You can feel it, but not much where I don't think it'll bother the average person buying one of these. I will say it is nicer to have regular triggers, even though we know they're not uh, analog. Rumble is wonky, but hey, it's Rumble, right? And there's no NFC in this, if you guys are wondering. Twenty bucks, changeable faceplates, has gyro, feels okay. Um, I, I guess everything seems to be fine. Everything's in working order. It's your standard controller. Would I recommend it? I think it feels cheap. Uh, I think it. I think it feels rather junky. Uh, this I've already scratched up a little there, trying to take off the the face plates. I think that's a little too much work if you don't have longer fingernails. And if you do, God forbid, ladies, if you worry about breaking your nails, good luck. Uh, guys, have a knife. Have a knife. Help your kids and everybody else. I don't know. It's it's not bad having the lights there. That's kind of cool. Um, it is nice to have the interchangeable faceplates. Not gonna lie. I'm trying. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really trying to find positives here. Um, if you have bought it, it, it it's an okay substitute. I would just say spend the extra eight dollars and get eight bit do ultimate C wireless controller i would go with this i think that's your better bet they have them in blue as well as pink and i think they're just better controllers you can get them online it's worth the eight dollars more much better controller uh but if you're like at a store and you're looking i've had a lot of people say hey i'm in line i looked it up to just to see if there's any kind of review or anything on it as i'm playing it. or as i'm about to buy it and hey it's it's okay I would say if you like the face plates, go ahead. Otherwise, they have a couple of different other ones. I like the one that has the, the light up in it. The the new Game Wave one that has the light that goes around it. And there's a couple of different, uh, uh, I guess, motifs to it. I like the space one. I thought that was the, the best. But the clear ones that come in orange and I think pink and green, uh, those are pretty, pretty all right, too. I would suggest those over these. But if you really have to have this one due to the changing of the face plates, cool go ahead i i would say you can find something else for for the price but hey it's a cheap wireless controller with gyro that has some kind of lights up for like you saw i paid 23 if you can find it for less okay but i would really suggest going online going to amazon buying the 8-bit do ultimate c because it's it's just a better value Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Tell me what you guys think. If you have any questions about this, let me know. I'll be glad to help and tell you anything else about this kind of shoddy feeling. You hear that? It's just, there's something in there. Hold on. No, there's something in there that ain't right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching again. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below if you've already bought it or you're trying to buy it. Hopefully this helps you out and maybe decide to get something else. Thank you guys so much. Like what I always say, be legendary. Thanks again.